July 30th. Nobody have anything anymore. It's, it's all gone. A family of nine is saved tonight after their home caught fire off Bosque Boulevard in Waco. Family members say they're lucky to be alive, but the house is a complete loss. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on Fox 44 News at 530. I'm Leslie Rangel and I'm Robert Burns. Now that fire happened early this morning off of Bosque Boulevard. As Leslie mentioned, now the family left to figure out just what is next. Fox 44's Renee Summerhour joins us live from the control room. Now, Renee, this family is lucky to be alive. Yeah, that's right. Robert and Leslie, the generations of families actually lived in this home and now they're all just trying to pick up the pieces. Now, even though the house is a complete loss, surprisingly, everyone there was extremely happy just to be alive. Well, Ten years of memories gone in seconds. Stuff and this had there are generations of stuff that I mean, monitor, you can't get it back. You can't get it back. A family of nine is lucky to be alive after a fire ripped through their two-story home around 545 this morning off Bosque Boulevard in Waco. And the total back of the house or whatever was on fire, so we just got everybody out. And Ruby Satchel, the homeowner, says she doesn't know how it started, but other family members think it may have been electrical. It, we're thinking it was an electrical fire, but by how fast the fire accelerated, we're thinking otherwise because because an electrical fire does not spread that quickly. The entire home, four cars, two carports, and a camper, all gone. Fire officials say the camper's gas tank helped fuel the flames. Going inside, you can see there's nothing left. And I'll be trying to find a house or something to rent or, you know, until then, you know. But the family remains in high spirits, saving what they can and feeling blessed that they all made it out safe. Yes, we all did. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. I mean, we, we all made it out. We all made it out. Now, there was one firefighter injured during this uh, situation. No word yet on his injuries. Now, according to the fire department's records, the damages estimated for this house are about $150,000. Of course, the cause of this fire still under investigation. Live in the control room, Renee Summer Hour, Fox 44 News. All right, thank you.